Hi everyone, I'm Jason, coffee bud of Nespresso Singapore. Today I'll be introducing you to Nespresso and our coffees. Have you heard of Nespresso before? The Nespresso story began in the 1970s. Eric Favre, an engineer, traveled around Italy in the search of the best espresso. One day in Rome, he saw many locals queuing outside a cafe. He watched the barista very closely as he made the coffee. Eric was deeply inspired to create an aromatic, full-bodied coffee, just like the barista, in the comfort of his own home. This was the birth of the Nespresso idea, the perfect coffee every time. Back home, inspiration struck, and he was set about implementing his findings at the Nestle laboratory. And in 1986, Nespresso was born. With a touch of a button, customers at home, offices, hotels and restaurants can now enjoy high-quality coffee cup after cup. With that, let me share with you how each cup of coffee is made, from our range of coffees, the brewing techniques and the art of tasting. Nespresso offers more than 29 coffees for you and your family members in various cup sizes and aromatic notes. In the world of coffee, there are more than 900 words used to describe the different aromatics. 900 seems like a huge number to many. To make things simpler, Nespresso has broken it down into three main aromatic families. We have the intense, the balanced, and lastly the fruity floral families. With the intense category, you can expect dark, powerful roasting with earthy notes of woods and spices. For the balanced range, you can expect to smell toasted greens, oats and cereals. Lastly, we have the fruity floral range, which is my favourite. Think about citrus fruits, sweet berries, fresh flowers like jasmine and orange blossom. What else could one ever ask from coffee? From traditional espressos, lungos to milk recipes, each coffee has its own unique flavour profile. One sleeve contains 10 capsules from as low as 70 cents each. Some people ask me, how fresh is the coffee inside? Each coffee capsule is hermetically sealed with aluminum, and this protects the coffee and aroma from light, humidity and oxygen, hence preserving the freshness. When you open the capsule, you can immediately smell the coffee grounds. Wonderful. When we brew the coffee, that's where more aromas are being released. Let's make a cup of espresso so you know what I mean. Espresso is a type of coffee made by forcing small amounts of hot water under pressure through finely ground coffee beans. This method gives you a more complex and aromatic coffee with a fuller body under a shorter extraction time. I will be using the initial machine to brew our espresso. The initial coffee machine is compact and light in weight, which is great for petite kitchens. It has two coffee options and a water tank of 0.7 litres. Let's make some coffee with this. The coffee we'll be using today is the Master Origin India, which is a unique blend of monsoon, robusta and arabica beans with beautiful woody spice aroma. To turn on the machine, press either buttons. Open the lever and place your capsules inside. Place your glass underneath the coffee outlet. The button on the left gives you an espresso shot, while the button on the right gives you a lungo. So in this instance, we are brewing an espresso. Press the button once. And here's a quality cup of espresso. Crema is a naturally formed froth that sits on top of your espresso. It is created when air bubbles combine with the coffee's natural oils during the extraction process. Look at the nice crema foam. This is the key of a quality espresso. You might be wondering what crema is and why is it key? It protects the coffee's aroma, sealing them in a cup until they're released when you enjoy your coffee. Now that you have a greater understanding of our coffees, how do you enjoy it? Let me show you how to appreciate a coffee in three simple steps. The first step is to look at the crema, which is the signature of a perfect espresso. A good crema is uniform and smooth and has a nice hazelnut color. The bubbles are small and fine. The second step is to smell and take in the aroma. Each coffee has its own unique flavor profile. By disturbing the crema, more aromas are released from the fine bubbles. The third step is to taste the coffee by slurping. 
Slurping allows you to take the aromatic notes back to the retronasal passage. By doing so, you will be able to identify the taste profiles of your coffee. There you go, appreciating your coffee in three simple steps. Try the next time when you have your coffee. I hope you have learned more about Nespresso and take away some tips on enjoying your coffee. For more information, visit our boutiques or website to find out more. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this session and see you soon.